645. Over the last several weeks, many of you have been asking 10 on your side, what in the world is going on with the Dick's Sporting Goods and Field and Stream store in Chesapeake's Greenbrier area? Earlier this year, they abruptly closed after only six years there, but a sign says it's temporary. 10 on your side's Brett Hall joins us now with more information you will only see first on Wavy TV 10. Brett out here breaking all the big stories. What's the one today, Brett? Well, yeah, I was also wondering why is it temporarily yeah. closed? It's only been there six years and they say renovations. A lot of people go a lot longer without that, but we are learning that House of Sport is going to be here. One of the first locations in Virginia. It's the company's new experiential retail format. We say experiential because uh, you may be able to tell by the promotional video that they sent out to us. It's a lot more than just shopping. Introducing the House of Sport. Yeah, yesterday on Dick Sporting Goods fourth quarter earnings call, company leaders confirmed the former Chesapeake Dick Sporting Goods and Field and Stream store will be converted into their House of Sport model, which there are only three others in the country right now. A spokesperson says athletes can look forward to an assortment of products as, the, as they've already had, but as well as elevated in-store experiences, including a climbing wall, batting cages, golf bays, and with a track man simulator. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds cool. <laughs> While we don't know exactly when it will open in the meantime, Greenbrier Mall has four anchor stores now because Dix is temporarily in the former Sears there. Again, not sure how long it will be there, but uh, that promotional video shows that there is going to possibly be even a turf field for some soccer to play I'm on. I'm looking at it right now. I'm like, I need <laughs> yeah. to know. It's got a rock wall. Rock wall, yeah. All it, well, the and we've talked a lot about when we've been talking about the closing of malls. Um, our expert always says experiential retail, experiential yes. retail. Well, they want you to go and spend time there. Apparently, there are three stores, one of which I know is in Rochester, New York. Yeah. I'm trying to remember where the others are. The uh, president of the company said the sales and profits have just skyrocketed. So. Man. Field and Stream, though, not coming back at any of it. They're closing. They're getting oh, rid wow. of that store altogether yeah. uh, from the company because they're going to convert them all into these. Well, so, I'm yeah. nervous because I'm already a golf widow. I lose my husband to the golf course <laughs> on a regular basis. I said, basis. look, it says a dream for golfers. Katie, your husband's going to go MIA. <laughs> I said, I'm going to lose him. I'm going to lose him for good. So, great. Thanks a lot. But that's exciting. It is exciting overall. Yeah. We're going to have more information on wavy.com. All, all right. right. Thank, thank you. you.